Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out some new foundation sticks. I've got the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Sticks. These are super, super affordable. I wanted to test them out. They seem really full coverage and they look really good. So I wanted to try them out. So I've got the concealers to use as well. And I'm going to be just putting them to the test and seeing how they wear. I will be updating the description box like at the end of the day because I'm going to wear it out. If you want to see how it's worn throughout the day then just check the description box down below. We'll just get straight into it so as always be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you're liking this video already and make sure that you're subscribed if you aren't already and just keep watching. So I've already done my skincare stuff if you're interested in seeing any skincare things then just watch my last video because I concentrated a bit more on skin in that video. I think I'm just going to be using a primer that I know works with anything and I've never had any issues with. It's not a mattifying one, it's not a illuminating one, it's just a hydrating one so it's not going to cause any luminosity or it's not going to matte the skin so it's not going to cause any issues with the foundations when I try them. So that primer is the Kat Von D Hydration Lock It Primer. I've been using this primer for years, it's one of my favourites and I love it. Pump it on my face. So, that is the primer done. So moving on to the foundation sticks. So I've got two different shades. Apparently they're supposed to kind of match up with the concealers. So in the concealers I have C10 and C12. So for the foundation I decided to get F10. I've noticed that when I swatched them, the C10, the concealer shade seemed to be have more of a yellow undertone in which I needed and that's why I chose to get the foundation that was like the number 10 but then the foundation stick just looked a bit more of a pinky peachy undertone which I don't really like I don't have a pinky base to my skin I'm more of an olive yellowy undertone so and then I also got a contour well it's a contouring shade for me so I got F14 which looks like that uh, obviously I've never tried these on my face, I've just swatched the uh, colours on my hands just to test that the shades were okay for me. i just read off what the Superdrug website says about the foundations. Foundation just got faster, launching in 18 shades and a range of undertones. Fast base foundation quickly perfects contours and highlights your complexion. The easy to apply stick formula melts into the skin, blending seamlessly to finish to leave a fresh and do we finish? Okay, that's good because foundation sticks to me, I think they're going to be usually more matte. I don't really use foundation sticks that much. The only other one I have is another new one, which is the L'Oreal one. So if it's a dewy finish, I'm going to like that. Um, I do get oily around kind of my cheek area and in between my brows. So if you have oily skin all around, then I can probably just share my thoughts on how oily I get. Then it says, twist up, swipe on and blend out with fingers, a beauty sponge or your favourite foundation brush. And then it goes on and tells you all the features and more details on each shade. So it like tells you the F1 is for fair skin tones with neutral undertones. And the darkest shade, which is F18, which is for dark skin tones with a warm undertone. And these retail for £5 each which is so good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the foundation on one side of my face and blend it out using my Morphe sponge that I always use and then I'm going to do the other side obviously with the same foundation and just blend it out with my favourite foundation brush which is the e.l.f. ultimate blending brush. I just, it's my favourite for blending in foundation. So I'm going to try it with both and see maybe which one wears better, which one I prefer, which one has more coverage how much to apply either oh also I forgot to mention how much product you get in I can't find anywhere where it says like how many grams or anything but that's how much you get I know it's not a lot but in stick foundations you don't tend to get that much product you know it's supposed to be more of a kind of travel friendly I guess and it's just easier to kind of take around with you and kind of put in your bag so it's not supposed to be like a huge bottle or anything like you know like that you can see like a size difference with that or you just find a normal foundation just so you know like size difference there is obviously that isn't even all the products but if I show you like that obviously it's not a lot but again that's how stick foundations tend to be the only other foundation stick I can compare it to like I said is the L'Oreal 
new foundation sticks. I used this yesterday and I really like it, but I feel like you get probably the same or a bit more. Obviously, I've used this, but you probably get the same amount or a tiny, tiny bit more in the Makeup Revolution one. So that's like a stick foundation comparison for you. But like I said, I couldn't find like the weight or like how many grams it was. So I didn't know how much product is actually in there. Just... Wow. Okay, so that's like, it looks very full coverage. Like I said, I don't really use stick foundations a lot, so I don't know how much to apply. And I can see it's definitely got a peachy pinky undertone in that, which I'm hoping we're not going to have much of an issue with, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I don't know if I've applied too much, I honestly don't know. In with the brush first, and I'm going to use my brush on my this side, my left, which will be right to you guys. So let's try and blend it out. Okay, the shade isn't too bad actually. It's like blending out really, really easy. Okay, I can definitely see like the dewy finish that it says. And it looks really nice. I'm quite impressed with that. Okay, one thing I am noticing is I'll probably need to apply a bit more here because I always have this issue with any foundation. It just doesn't like, I don't get that much full of a coverage just here where I get oily, which is really weird. Don't know if it's my pores, even though you can't, can't really see my pores. But when I applied it, I don't know if you can see it on camera, I'll try. But like, you can see my pot, it's kind of like enlarged my pores, like here, like you can actually see them. But then when you blend it out, you can't really see them, which I find a bit weird. Once I've blended it out now, you can't really see it, so I don't have an issue with that. The skin's looking like up, up close. So you can obviously see the dewy skin and I don't use any lighting right now, so this is just in daylight, so. I think that's pretty accurate. It doesn't feel too, too tacky either. So I feel like you can maybe get away with not setting it if you maybe have dry skin or you just don't feel like setting it. So I like that. It's not the most fullest of coverage. So I'll add some more after I blend it out this side. But like I said, I'm just gonna use my Morphe sponge on this side and I'm gonna dampen it with some water. Okay, it's definitely, like, even just from blending out my chin, it's definitely a lot sheerer. Actually, actually, actually. Okay, it seemed to keep the foundation, like, here where, like, on my cheeks, it seemed to keep that on a bit better than it did on this side with the brush, which I didn't actually, <clears throat> which I really didn't expect because, you know, everyone knows that about beauty blenders and, like, sponges is that they do absorb product. So I did expect to get more coverage with this on this side with the brush, but maybe not. Okay, so that blended out so, so easily, just like it did with the brush. So again, no issues whatsoever. And then it now, like kind of a bit back. I think the brush side is definitely a lot more coverage except from this portion here, which is really weird. So yeah, I really like the finish of it. I'll give you a close up of my face side with the Beauty Blender. And I really like that. So it's still got the dewy finish. And I don't know, it's not taken off as much foundation here, which I thought it would, but I still feel like I've got more coverage on this side than that side. Dealer on. And just so you can actually see, because I've got the matching concealer to the foundation, because I don't like having a bright under eye. If you're new to my channel, hello. But I don't like having a bright under eye, so that's why I use a concealer that's more suited to the skin tone and to my foundation. So it's a tiny bit lighter, but I don't really have an issue with that. So, um...
new to my channel, I did a video comparing the, the concealer with the Tarte Shape Tape, so I will put a link to it in the description box if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen that video. It's really nice and the concealers have got kind of a dewy finish and I did say that in that video when I did test them with the Tarte ones, which I don't actually mind, but I do set my under eyes all the time because my under eyes always crease no matter what concealer I use, but I like it, I like it. The skin's pretty much done with foundation and concealer, so I'm now going to try the cream contouring. So I'm going to do the exact same, I'm going to blend this side out with a my Morphe sponge and then this side with my cream contour brush that I like to use. I said at the start of this video, the shade I got for cream contouring is F14. That's very pigmented. I'm quite scared. <laughs> I'm gonna blend out these sides at first and then I'll do my forehead, jawline, <clears throat> nose and all that after. I don't usually do the nose but for the sake of this video I'm gonna do it. So I think I'm gonna do the brush side first. So my favourite brush for cream contouring is the Morphe M436 brush. It's just like a really gentle and quite loose stippling brush and I love it for cream contouring so I'm gonna start blending all oh, of my hair first and then that's blending out really nice it's looking really intense on camera but oh my god A sponge on this side. A gooch. Okay, so. 100% the brush side has left it on, it hasn't blended it out as much as it has on this side but then I think it's kind of personal preference when it comes to cream contour and what you use to blend it out because if you're someone that likes a really strong contour then brush is probably the best for you or if you prefer a more natural where you can still see it and it's just more of a shadow which I do prefer then the sponge is probably for you. Perimeters of my forehead just a little bit and then I'm gonna try the nose. I don't nose contour because I feel like I, I don't really have an issue with my nose so I'm gonna try it anyway for the sake of this video. That was a pretty straight line for me so I'm proud about that. That is not bad for me okay. I'm gonna do a tiny bit on my jawline as well. Bye to the double chins. So easy. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be using this probably with a sponge, like it does it a lot quicker. No, I'm not I'm not Carly Bible, I'm not a nose contouring queen, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, but something I know she does do is like add a bit of concealer in the middle so you don't look like you have a sunburnt nose. So I'm going to do that as well. Right, just down the centre. And like at the sides as well she does it. Okay, so I will show you a close up of the skin again now. So this is the side that I use the brush on. And then this is the sponge side. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, so this video isn't a million years long, I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup off off camera and then I will come back and show you what everything looks like when it's all set and we have all the rest of my makeup on. Okay, so I went and finished all the rest of my makeup off and you know what, I really really like this foundation. It just, it's just fitted in really well and it's really sunk into the skin and it just looks really really nice. I've, 
I'm obsessed with it. I love it. So I'll zoom you in so you can have a look. Really love these foundations. Obviously, we'll see how they wear at the end of the day. But apart from that, first impressions, I love them. I'm obsessed. Like I said, I don't feel like you really need to set it. But if you probably want to prolong it a bit more, then obviously go set it. But yeah, I'm really liking it. Really. So yeah, that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of first impressions and testing video today. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this foundation if you've tried it if you want to try it or any other questions that you have just leave me a comment please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you in my next video bye <coughs> so they are called they are called